God says my people have cried my people have cried out for an answer and this is what I have to say says the spirit of life A veil has been placed upon this nation and I did it! I did it! So that for a season my people would wonder and faith would increase. For in darkness faith grows. In despair faith grows. I did it! But now, my fury has ended. Hear me, for I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man after my own heart and he is amongst you. He is one of the brothers but singled out for presidency of the United States of America. But yeah, yeah, the transcription of God upon the heart of his prophet. How the gold has become dim. The stones of the sanctuary are scattered at the head of every street. The precious sons of Zion, valuable as fine gold, are now regarded as clay pots. Those who ate delicacies are desolate in the streets and those who were brought up in royal scarlet now embrace ash heaps. Is this what I wanted? My people were brighter than snow, whiter than milk. They were like sapphire in their appearance and now they are stricken for lack of fruits in the field. The hands of once compassionate women have cooked their own children and their children have become food for them. Your children have become food for who are once compassionate women. But my fury is fulfilled, says the Lord. And I have now kindled a fire in Zion. I have kindled a fire in Zion, in America, in nations throughout the earth and my fist is about to smack down on Russia. For out of the rebellion, turn me up just a little, out of the rebellion of the Ukraine which was seen by my prophet shall come out of those ashes beauty, shall come out of that sadness joy shall come out of those garments praise says the Lord I have searched for a man and a woman who would stand in the Oval Office and pray and call for the restoration of the fortunes of Zion I have looked for a man who would pray for the restoration of the fortunes of Zion Therefore, if you hear my heart, says the Lord, today, I will take you on a journey. I will first take you to Israel, whom they would give Jerusalem to his enemies. Why would they give half of Jerusalem away? This will not happen, says the Lord. For I will take you on a journey today into Jerusalem where it shall be prophesied through song by my prophet what I intend doing in Jerusalem and in the United States of America at the same time says the Lord I am restoring the fortunes of Zion I am restoring the fortunes that were the inheritance of my people I am restoring the fortunes 
of those that are elect of God and had been stolen from. You shall eat your delicacies again and your children will no longer be your food. You shall not use them and take them out of the womb anymore, says the Lord. Watch how I change everything for there shall be those who are in justice and those, there are those who are in a strong position. I'm just hearing this now. In the highest court in the land, the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, two shall step down for the embarrassment of what shall take place. For I wish to place in the highest court in the land righteousness. And they shall attempt to put others in to endeavor, to reach their endeavors. But God says, hear me tonight. Hear me today. I have this whole thing planned out according to my will. For it is now time for me to restore the fortunes of Zion. The fortunes to those that had it once. You are going to get it back. This is my promise, says the Lord of hosts. Give him a shout. This man has stood in Jerusalem this man that I saw in the vision, the man that came out of a vision, please hear me. <clears throat> I was standing in my garden. And suddenly the Spirit came and removed from my eyes scales. I was praying for America and I was praying for Israel. Nothing unusual. And suddenly behind me, starting behind my back, going in the form of an arrow, were hundreds of thousands of people. And I turned around and I was stunned at what I saw. This was not just a mere dream, but this was a vision. And so I raised my hand like this and every one of them raised their hands. I looked back and they were doing the same thing. I shouted and they all shouted. They were one. They were one. One party. One party of people. continued until I realized that the unity of these amongst them stood one that God had set aside to be the leader of this nation I said why am I hearing this so soon surely you would show me a little bit of it closer to the time and the Spirit of God said to me this man has a humble stature, but he is a genius. And then I heard gold. I wasn't sure if this was attached to his name, but he said to me, he will restore the fortunes in this nation. Bef because of his brilliance, I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them and the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said this man will throttle the enemies of Israel this man will throttle the enemies of the West and they are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many many politicians in this nation there will be a shaking amongst there will be a shaking amongst the de democrats in the upcoming elections but unsettling for the republicans why is why is god doing this for god said i am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties 
And then there is a nation he showed me, took me, itching for a new kind of war with America. They will shout, impeach, impeach, they say. But nay. This nation shall come very subtly. But he shall not come in the time of President Obama. They shall come when this new one arises, my David, that I have set aside for this nation. A man of prayer, a man of choice words, not a man who is verbose, who has verbosity, who speaks too much. They will even say, this man is not speaking enough. But God says, I have set him aside. They will shout, impeach, impeach. But this shall not happen. And then God says, highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises. And people will become very afraid. They'll say, we have no protection. And then God says, am I impressed with your weapons of war? Am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs? Ha! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees. And God said, you have been humbled. And yet some more. And then you shall hear the sounds of great victory. For where are the people gathered? Where are my people gathered? Where is the sound of unity from my people? I want just this crowd here and all the thousands watching all over the world. Just do me a favor. Just for about 30 seconds, raise up your voice and shout. Come on! shall begin to emerge Come on. and in the following two weeks which is a three week period he shall slowly come to the fore for they are saying how do we kill the giant how do we kill the giant of death how do we kill the giant of socialism how do we kill the giant of human secularism I have placed that man amongst you. A humble man. And as Samuel stood before the brothers and they had rejected David to come because of his age. Take all these little, little remarks I'm giving you. They are gems. The name and the word gold. Remember that. A man that is amongst them but is young and God says these that shall reject him shall be shocked at how he takes the giant down now hear me please the giant of death the giant the giants that have come the brothers of Goliath Stand in glee watching America. We will cripple you. You will lose your credit. But God said, watch. I said 20,000. Look not to Wall Street. However, observe. And they shall say, what is your plan for this, this giant? 
and he will take a simple stone remember the name and he will hold it up and they will laugh at him but the plan is so brilliant says the Lord it could only have been given by me <laughs> come on California you are dying because of a drought watch my sign watch the sign of rain for I told you there would be severe wind from above and all the states that are affected by this severe weather have been set up for a shaking of my spirit and an outpouring of my spirit but California I am looking at you gold stone California a smaller statue and God says once you recognize the man that I have raised up, pray. For the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. Did anybody hear what he just said? Yes. For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Come on. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit.